so hello everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial and today we're going to discuss about how you will pass a um, function name as argument to another function so like just the way you do in your callback functions um, in the APIs like Win32 or um, the dot library for OpenGL so you just um, what you do is you pass a function name as an argument which is to be registered as your callback function which um, you desire uh, which is to be called for the callback and so if you have, uh, have you um, you might have wondered that um, how the function names are taken in as the arguments and what um, the formal parameter uh, list of these functions may look like and so let's clear the doubts here and let's get started now um, if you want to pass the functions as arguments um, so you need to be familiar with a concept which uh, is um, the function uh, pointers to function types so uh, you might have used pointers to different uh, types like um, all the built-in types in C++ or the other user-defined types um, and if uh, if you don't know anything about C++ pointers I strongly recommend to go back to the tutorials and learn something about pointers because they're gonna be used in this tutorial and now coming to function pointers in C++ um, um, which I'm going to teach you here how to use the function pointers because we're gonna we have uh, this is the only way we can pass may might be another ways of passing but this is the way I recommend uh, for passing function names as um, arguments so let's get started with the function pointers so now to declare a pointer like you simply do an to for a pointer to an integer you use an asterisk sign and the similar is for function pointers but the first type here is the return type of the function which the pointer is going to point to so this is fixed and um, so a function um, pointer which uh, has a return type integer can only point to the functions which also have the return type as integer so first thing will be return type and then you will give a name to the function pointer um, which is to be um, like asterisk sign is to be used uh, before the function name like func but um, you need to group the asterisk and the variable uh, and the name of the function pointer with braces or if you don't do this this is just uh, a function that returns a pointer to an integer so this needs to be grouped using braces and the next thing is the parameter list of the function which the pointer is going to point to so this is also fixed like the return type and uh, for now let's keep it void the no parameters or you can just um, the empty braces so func is uh, now you can say that the func is a pointer to a function that returns integer and takes uh, no arguments or uh, now for instance you'll just keep it uh, void here because this will be this will now point to a void function for uh, just to keep it simple um, and now you can define a similar function which uh, will call func1 the similar syntax as the pointer points to and let's make it print out hello on the screen and now you can use a pointer to call it and uh, now you can assign func1 to the func pointer which is the syntax is the same as you do for other pointers so the pointer name followed by assignment operator um, and then the ampersand operator um, because we need the address of the function 1 and so now the func pointer points to the func1 this function and now if you call um, the func the pointer is being called so this points to func1 so this function will be called now through this pointer and now if you build and uh, okay I'm just messed up here and now if you build and run your program you should get this output which is to be printed by func1 and you can see here the function being called is a pointer so you're calling the pointer which is calling um, the function which is pointing to which is um, the func1 and so now if that you're familiar with um, pointers to functions now you can proceed in the topic of passing functions as arguments 
so now I'm going to declare a function which returns an integer the function name is called and this function will take uh, another function as an argument so the function which is to be taken as argument has a return type integer and now we give it a name to the pointer which we keep func uh, like the previous uh, we just did and now uh, you need uh, the parameter list of the function which is to be taken in as the arguments so let's keep it integer so so now call function takes in a function as an argument um, a function as an argument which um, has a return type integer and uh, takes an integer argument so now you can use the call function to call this function because it has been passed uh, to the call function and it the function will also take an integer argument so you need to separately um, get this value as an argument which will be passed while you are calling the call function so first the function name and then the argument which is to be passed to the function um, if you're not understanding this you'll just see the upcoming code and this all will be clear um, and so now we call the func and the argument which is passed separately will be used to call <coughs> the function which is uh, like the func has been the function which has been passed uh, as the first arguments will be called and with the arguments which is specified separately as another parameter to the call function so this and the f stuff returned by the function and by the function which is passed as argument will be returned by the call function so as simple as this and now let's define a similar function and let's call it inc which stands for increment like this function will increment the variable passed to it uh, by one and so it takes variable uh, it takes var as an argument and it uh, returns the incremented value of var and so this function is called and it returns one number higher than the value passed into it and so now let's use the call function to call our increment function so how we'll do this is call function and now the call function takes a function name as argument which um, has a return type integer and takes an, an, an integer value as an argument so this is clearly the increment function and so we can call the increment function pass the increment function to the call function and the next argument will be the um, argument to be passed to the increment function so we'll keep it a keep it eight so what will happen here is um, this will be uh, the increment function will be called and 8 will be passed into the increment function and the value returned by the increment function will be returned by the call function back to the main function and now what we will do is we will uh, print this on the screen and now if you run your program it should be one number higher than 8 which is 9 and so you get your desired output and this means you now know how to pass function names as arguments so <clears throat> next thing uh, like uh, you have your call function is limited to a function that has takes integer and that it has return return type as integer and takes integer as an argument if you want um, you can make overloads of the call function if you're familiar with the uh, function overloading in C++ and make it take different types of uh, functions as arguments and so that is going to be all for this video and I'm going to wrap it up here um, thanks for watching if this was helpful and um, please share this video and this finally thanks for watching